They've read a book and want to talk about it. It's the Izzy and Coco Book Review Show. Hello and welcome to Izzy and Coco's Book Review Show. I'm Coco! <laughs> I'm Izzy. These are book review alter egos. So, today we're reviewing <laughs> Truth or Beard by Penny Reed. This is actually the second book from this author that we review. Mm -hmm. We liked her so much, I was really looking forward to her new book. So, what did you think? And it just, it just came out recently the, too. The, the summary. Summary. Oh. So, this is a love story. It's uh, a romance novel. Um, yeah. Romance novel of two people who knew each other since growing up in Tennessee and grew oh. up together and uh, they had secretly crushes on each other their whole lives and then once they're grown up and professionals they um well she thought she had a crush on his twin brother she always had a crush on his twin brother I think I think that's a big deal, but only at the very beginning. Yeah, then they kind of. I, you know what I like? Oh, sorry. Do you want to continue with the summary? I really help. Okay, so they and it's how she is um, uh, struggling between loving, falling in love with this guy who she feels that is gonna make her settle down in Tennessee, and her wanderlust for wanting to explore the world yeah. and see the world and travel around and experience everything outside of Tennessee and how uh, they love each other, they fall in love, that's what this book is about. So, so did you like it? I was also liked it. <gasps> I liked, I read it so fast, I really liked it. It was a good romance. It was okay. Mm. Well, and it was funny, it had some funny parts. It did have some funny parts. Um, but uh, okay, what was the what was your main problem with it? Probably spo uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> we'll probably we'll be talking in depth about it. Why you did not like it? Uh, there's like all these like there are specific moments that I was like not on board with. Like uh, it starts off by this th she's in love with the there's two twins. And she thinks she's in love with one called Bo, and the other one is Dwayne, which yeah. she's always had, like, they've been, they butt heads their whole life growing up. Yeah. And they've been uh, playing pranks on each other their whole life. And she thinks she's in love with the nice one, who's Bo. Yeah. So this guy pretends to be uh, Bo. Bo yeah. And then they're like having sex, and but she right. thinks. They didn't have sex, but they were making up heavy. They were about to. Yeah. You know, and the guy is pretending to be someone else so i was like i don't know i don't i'm not i don't know if i can be on board with this you know it's like hmm. uh this is kind of creepy he did, he did try to tell her he stopped it he stopped her like i need to tell you something and that and then of course they happened to call him out and then she realized yeah that. she didn't get the chance to tell him himself because it's her his, the twin brother showed up and then she got pissed for just the one second and yeah, then she's yeah. like okay well, you know what? Ew. <laughs> However, I, this was like a conflict, and I like how com in books sometimes like the conflict drags too long, and with her, the conflict gets resolved quickly. I wasn't up to putting up with like, oh, is it Dwayne or is it Bo? Which one of the twins is it gonna be? I really like how she made up her mind. You know what? I really like the other one. The other one really likes me. Well, maybe that conflict got resolved, but how about like, I want to see the world. I uh, love you. I don't know. What are we going to do? That got resolved quickly. Are you no? kidding me? All the way till the end. Mm -hmm. Then the guy's like, no, she wants to leave. So I need to break up with her so that I don't keep her, you know, attached here. Yeah. And then they're like, well, why don't you just go with her? I was like, oh, really? <laughs> just to to you and all of this has happened? Oh my God. I don't know. Uh, I, know, I felt like it was the, I don't know the southern with the bikers and the unsouthern. It, it was kind of slathered on so thick that I was like, I had a hard time, you know, getting yeah. through that. Yeah, you like the other one more where it was uh, more of a city personality, people in the um, 
Was it called chemistry? What was it? Or elements, elements of attraction? Or elements of attraction? Or elements of of attraction? attraction? Yeah. Or chemistry? Mm. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I just I feel like the the southern characters were cartoonish. Everything was mm. too cartoonish. So it was I don't know. It was it's a stupid romance novel. So like well, if you the want romance. epic romance with lots of uh, sexy scenes, then this is yes. yeah. And with romance novels, I give them a lot of leeway. So stuff like that, I really didn't let it. Yeah, like bog me down. It was still, I really liked the sweet. I really liked the how the the guy was uh, really really into her. He would say really sweet things. Like he he yeah. He was he wasn't like an asshole. He was like really out to look out for her. So yeah, I I know. It was like oh yeah, and all the guys here are assholes and they're sexist. I'm gonna, but this guy is the sweetest guy. He's, a, he's been in love with her since he's like 12 years old yeah. and like adoring her and just biding his time so like he can be with her for the rest of his life and whatever she wants and like it's uh it's quite the fantasy. <laughs> But yeah. it's, uh, I mean, like, once you put yourself in the shoes of a uh, heroine, you're wait, like, wait, yeah, I'm on second. board with this. Sorry, one second. Pancho, stop it! <laughs> ah. He's like, I didn't like the book! I didn't like the book! <laughs> no! Please don't put your two cents in it. <laughs> so, but, okay. So, that's one problem I had with it. But yes. then, there were so many things that I liked about this book. Just let him put it. He's, he'll be... Pancho! Beard punch edition. <laughs> so, he's like, rough. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's some things that I really liked. I liked how her raunchiness was uh, silly. Yes. I have a really good example okay, of okay. how ridiculous it was. Well, well, you find that. I find it. I found it really funny how she uh, had her sexy Gandalf costume. Oh, that's how it starts, yeah. <laughs> I really like it because we were making fun of like, okay, let's see this year how many sexy costumes that can come up with the sexy M&M, mm -hmm. the sexy B. So I really liked it how they addressed this because it's really ridiculous. Okay. So I love how her raunchiness is just so ridiculously silly. Um, so she goes, she's having a conversation with her brother. She's like, I don't even know where to start with you and your lunacy. I know how birth control works, big brother. And spoiler alert, putting a wrapper on the banana is 99% effective. He's like, there will be no bananas. <laughs> yeah, 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 brother. Yeah. Like, there will be an entire tropical rainforest of bananas <laughs> and coconuts. I just threw to my breast and hopefully bananas rubbing together. Oh my god, yeah! <laughs> I was like, what? That was really I funny. I not stop <laughs> I was like, oh, that's awesome. That's oh. the type of wretchedness I love. How about her cat, Edmund Hillary, that's trying to kill her? Oh, that really that cracked me up. That was that cute. was hilarious. <laughs> and it was like everybody knew in the town. Like, oh, how they like, plotting to kill yeah, her. Yeah, like, oh, how many times they try to kill you this week? <laughs> and how the cat would always move the litter box, like it's in the it's in the bathroom, and whenever she gets in the shower, the cat moves it right in front of the exit of the shower. I know that was hilarious. Oh. So I like that. That like it's it, the, the Penny Reed writes really funny books. I also liked the dynamics that she has like these five brothers. Yeah. And they're like the the really good brothers. You know, like if you want to date someone in town, it's one of those five. Yeah, yeah. Because they're like hardworking, honest, the family smart, super hot. <laughs> Super in shape, mechanics, manly. Oh my yeah. god, it's like the list yeah, goes yeah, on. Like, yeah. you want any of these guys? I also like the odd one, the one that's kind of. They don't straight out say like he's autistic, but he's very like. Yeah, he has a uh, weird social skills. Yes, yeah. Uh, but he's super smart. Yes. He's the one who's always like getting their asses out of trouble. Yeah, I really like, like I really guy. like the how she has the conversations between the brothers and their dynamics, how they're like playful with each other, but mm -hmm. they're always super supportive of each mm -hmm. other. And like little girls are like, oh, so what happened with Jessica? It's like, you should totally go talk to her. Yeah. Like they always had their own, their advice on yeah. their relationship. And they're always like, it was girly advice. It was so funny. It was, I, it was really cute. Yeah. I really like that. 
They're very sweet. Let's see, what else? Uh, oh yeah, mm, loads of sex scenes, so I say bonus for that. <laughs> The mom, oh, you know what was weird, a resolved thing? That they brought in the mom aunt issue? And they what? Know, and they didn't resolve what? it. It was very it was, odd. It was just know. something so that she would have money to yeah. travel all over the world, but yeah. nothing else. It was weird. It was unnecessary. Yeah. Because she would have said, okay. So that was odd. Yeah. Uh, I just didn't That was it. also something that I was like, oh, oh okay. Yeah. Overall, it's. it's also, they hint at that her. Thank you. Also, they hint that her father is one of the bankers, but they never. Oh yeah, go into yeah. It. yeah. They, they never know. like. Well, yeah. I don't know if they're setting it up for something else and the whole. Ah. I wonder if this is a series. I oh, it is. It. it is. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, hello. There's five brothers. She set it up with so many brothers. Oh, my God. <laughs> Like a love story with every one absolutely. of the brothers. Absolutely. Uh, and obviously, the next one's gonna be one of the brothers with her best friend, Claire. Oh, yeah. That's so. was it. Yeah, because that's the whole reason why they had this Jethro storyline. Right. kind of odd, the one with the. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. But you know what? That reminds me. I love when they do that. What was that? What? What do you that, mean? That a series of books that introduces oh, the, um, them the up for characters the next book? for the next one. The, where's that historical romance novel series that I love reading? Oh, it's is it Maiden Lane? Lane? Maiden Lane series or something oh, like that? Oh, no, it's somebody else. But uh, yeah, the Maiden Lane. Maiden oh, Lane series? The, what, who's the other? Courtney Milan? Courtney Milan. I, I think so. Okay. I'm pretty sure. That's a, a great... Um, series where they set up the characters for the next one mm -hmm. and like it's usually very poor women who fall in love with a duke or a rich pirate or and so those are hilarious i love those you know what i don't think we've read the latest one of that series so maybe we should read it for and review it here because we have we haven't reviewed a historical romance in a you while know what? okay you got it yeah. that's a good one yeah so, so um what's our next one? Oh, we have all an angel is coming up Yes, and we have a special guest, our friend Amy, will be reviewing it with us again. And then after that, we will be... Sorry, yes, we're going to say something? Yeah, we're going to be reviewing Armada. By Ernest Klein from Ready Player One. The second book with another special guest, Melly from Maleficent.com, geeky fashion blog. So that's going to be awesome. So, wow, we have so many things cool. planned. And uh, check out this book, right? Yeah, yeah, I really, I like the Penny Reed and I, they're fun. They're it's just fun. It's romance like a, novels. Exactly. A silly Not romance novel that is, it's easy to read. So, uh, there's something worth checking out. Yeah, and, and don't forget to live the cute life. <laughs> yeah, live the cute life and check out dapperanimals.com. Email us at books at dapperanimals.com if you have any comments about our reviews or anything else. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, please. Ciao!